Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The situation involving heavyweight boxer Kubrat Pulev and reporter Jennifer Rivalo, otherwise known as Jenny Sushi Rivalo, it's going from bad to worse, devolving by the day with Pulev Sport uh, issuing a statement in which Kubrat Pulev says that he is willing to release more video of Jennifer Rivalo from the after party after his fight with Bogdan Dinu. So the controversy around this all kicked up after that fight when uh, Rivalo interviewed Kubrat Pulev, he planted a kiss on her, a kiss that she says was unwanted, and she has subsequently made other allegations that he apparently groped her buttocks after the interview finished, and also that she attended the after party because she was there in the context of a reporter interviewing fighters and obviously Kubrat Pulev's team has released this footage from the after party and this is Rivalo here on screen so this is what they did after she made those allegations she's lawyered up with Gloria Allred and they are pursuing legal avenues so we will have to see what happens with that uh, sort of potential legal challenge what they're going to do the California Commission has suspended Pulev and uh, there is a hearing in May whether Pulev attends that it remains to be seen but some of what this video was intended to do as I spoke about in my last video was to discredit elements of her story that she was there acting as a reporter when this clearly shows potentially otherwise otherwise I'm not familiar with those interv interviewing techniques but in terms of um, what is happening now so this video was released a day ago and now there are statements up on the Pulev Sport uh, Facebook page you can see here this is the Bulgarian here so uh, Kubrat Pulev has spoken to the German newspaper Bild, and this is the translation which we'll go through. Pulev for sushi, not my type. This woman is not my type. I am not afraid. I have more videos if I have to, said Kubrat Pulev in front of German newspaper Bild. The Bulgarian star in professional boxing made a brief comment about the incident with the American reporter Jenny Sushi. Pulev kissed her, and that led to a scandal in the United States. I have no fault. In my career, I have given tens of thousands of everyone knows me as a kind and polite man. The woman came to me at the drawing of the scale and said, after the fight, we will raise a party. She is Pulev in front of the reporter of Build. Pulev denies the claim of reporter Jenny Rivalo that shortly after the kiss, he grabbed her for the buttocks. The German coach of Pulev, Uli Wigner, also spoke in front of Build. I was right next to them. It was after the game, Kubrat Pulev gave an interview to the beautiful and kind lady. Yeah, and then you kissed her. It was an expression of emotion, tells the 76-year-old specialist. He also denies Pulev catching Jenny for the buttocks. So those were the comments that Kubrat Pulev has, and his uh, trainer have made to the German newspaper Bild and subsequently uh, reposted on Pulev Sport. And Pulev Sport was obviously the one that released this uh, short clip from just over a day ago. And they are saying, we have more video. We are prepared to use it. Actually, it's not even them. It's Kubrat Pulev. I have more videos if I have to. So this is really getting to the really bad end of town now in terms of clearly Kubrat Pulev is sort of um, feeling like a bit of a caged animal here. He's trying to hit back, hit out, defend his reputation because obviously there was the kiss but now there are the other allegations of um, allegedly he groped her buttocks and then she was only at the after party because of you know she was interviewing fighters this is what she has said on the record at her press conference saying she was only only there because there were going to be other fighters to interview but he is saying i will if this it's a threat now it is a threat from kubrat pulev that he's going to release more video if this thing continues to go further and this is really getting to the the unseemly end of town now that you know is this a sort of acceptable behavior or comments for Pulev to make? Sure, he's defending his career to some point now, but there was the implied threat through the release of this video that um, they were had video and potentially there was more of it. This was just a nine second clip, but outright saying I've got more video and I will use it. That is a really sort of ballsy statement and that's not going to sit well with everyone. I can guarantee you that. But uh, Team Pulev, Kubrat Pulev, all the people surrounding the Bulgarian heavyweight, 
they aren't playing games they are playing for keeps and if uh, Jennifer Rivalo keeps going this is going to get even messier so we will have to see what happens here and I'd be interested to know what some of these different commissions sort of make of some of this because obviously uh, this is actually it's gone beyond boxing to an extent now this is well beyond the realms of just his career this is you know his reputation as well um, but some of the way that he sort of reacts now and um, the way that he conducts himself in public it is also important and some of these statements it's you know it is an outright threat so yeah what do you make of this I thought this was a very sort of hardball play here from Kubrat Pulev and not necessarily the uh, the best move you know to overt actually outright say look we got more videos we'll use them if we have to I'm not afraid I have more videos if I have to that's the direct translation of the quote there I don't think there's been any sort of lost in translation there that is loud and clear drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on Twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out